Now, moving on to another state, from New Jersey to Florida, the state that brought us Casey Anthony, uh, hanging chads and a host of teacher scandals. 2014 is off to a very spectacular start. Oh, Florida, we love you. You are the king of bizarre stories. And joining us is Ryan Broderick, reporter for BuzzFeed. Hey, how you doing, Hi, pal? How you doing? Good, good, good. So, um... Let's see, you guys had a tough job, right? You had to narrow down the crazy stories out of Florida that's happened uh, just so far this year. So let's talk about some of them that we uh, picked out here. Let's start first with the uh, man throws bananas. What's this all about? Yeah, so this is a pretty uh, nuts story. It was a domestic call. Uh, when they got there, uh, a, the girlfriend was claiming that she had been hit uh, in the face by a banana. And then the boyfriend said, Wait, no. wait, Ryan, Ryan, yeah. was it peeled or unpeeled? Well, this is important, actually. This is an important detail. Uh, the boyfriend said, no, I was hit by the banana. They then found uh, a mark on the girlfriend's face that apparently was banana-shaped, and then they found the banana peel, or the banana, in the trash. So the it was an unpeeled peel? banana. Was it in the peel? It was in the peel, so it was yeah. a fully loaded banana. Yeah, I mean, it, which I, I think would make sense if you're going to use it as a weapon. You wouldn't want to get rid of the hard part, Yeah, but she, she didn't get hurt, but it is an ugly situation. Yeah. Right. No, absolutely. And, and yeah, it was not a great story, but it, it was definitely weird. But it's okay. hard, yeah. All right. Now, uh, uh, Christy Paul, we've got a, uh, another man from Florida here mm -hmm. who apparently drank five gallons of vodka. What? How is he even so, alive? So he claims. Uh, basically, they found him at the beach. Uh, he was slurring, clearly intoxicated, and he told law enforcement that he had drank five gallons of vodka over the course of the day. Um, you know how many, he, how many shots would that be if he was doing a shot of vodka at a time? You know how many shots that would be? Take a guess, Christy Paul. Well, uh, well, they say 427, I'm being told. Oh, are you being, they're giving you the answer? Yeah, they are. <laughs> why are you giving her the answer? Because I don't do shots, so I don't... Well, I neither don't do I. That's why it would have been fun That's for you to guess. You know. I know Ryan yeah. does shots, right? Well, no, you know. Once in a while. Not that many. Not that many. Not that many. Yeah, that's a lot. Not, yeah. This is, we did a recreation here of, of 427 <laughs> shots. That's Bill Tobles, who right now is in the men's room, by the way. Yeah. And that's water, by the way. That's too. water. That's all he can drink. But 427 of those. Man. And he just keeps going. We'll check back in with Bill later in the show. <laughs> all right. Story number three out of Florida. Um, uh, uh, and Chuck E. Cheese is a nice place to go. Family fun, right? But there was a well, Chuck E. Cheese brawl? That's right. Uh, it was uh, originally over uh, a ticket dispute. Uh, the two kids got in a fight about tickets. Then more and more family members got involved in the fight. And it, uh, one person was quoted as saying anything that wasn't nailed down uh, was immediately thrown. And yes. then the whole thing blew up uh, when they took out the pepper spray. Uh, no. Well, I think about I all know, the kids yeah, that was, are Chuck E. Yes. Cheese. Now, now, it starts over a ticket. Have you ever seen the prizes at Chuck E. Cheese that you can get with these tickets? And, and yeah, kids enjoy them, but these aren't prizes worth fighting over, are they? No, I mean, it's like those finger traps or a stuffed yeah. animal. It's not, nothing to get pepper sprayed over, that's for sure. Crazy. All right, let's go to number four. We're, we're taking a look at some of the crazy stories out of Florida. Um, people are, are, are wild about animals, but one down in Florida, but a sanctuary, apparently a line got loose that's right and this is one of the cases where the headline is a little funnier than the actual story but uh, the headline uh, basically the headline read that a lion escaped and a neighborhood started freaking out um, well the here's true the story thing about is, Florida but here's the thing about Florida Ryan is, is that there's a lot of alligators there alligator right. versus lion who wins I'm gonna say alligator because its mouth is longer I feel like it's got a better range for fighting Good. plus it can swim Good stuff. Ryan Broderick from BuzzFeed. Great to have you on the show, buddy. Thanks for having me. Uh